All right, let's see. Live recording is good. Uh, everything looks good. Audio is good. That's muted. That's not muted. It's nice having to remember 35,000 things just to stream. Okay. Hey! What is going on, everybody? I'm Existential Turtle on Twitch. I'm a variety streamer, and I like to play video games and talk about stuff. So the past like week or so has been really difficult for me to stream. Uh, just life's getting in the way, work, you know, just crappy schedules, that kind of thing. But uh, I've been making time a little bit every day, but it's just been short streams. And uh, today will probably be no different. In fact, it'll probably be no different until towards the end of uh, December. So it'll be like two-hour streams for a while. But uh, I'm going to head back into Pokemon today. You know, I did a little bit of casual Hitman yesterday, and I actually really had a lot of fun with it. And today I'm just going to do some casual Pokemon, you know, just... Get further in the story, level up some dudes, evolve some Pokemon. Nothing too fancy, no specific goals really outside of just progressing the game. So yeah, uh, from what I remember the last time I played, I was in the middle of Team Rocket's facility and I had just gotten the key card after beating up that one dude whose name I don't remember. So now it's time to finish exploring the facility. I've already beaten that dude, uh, Mr. Juggler. <laughs> <laughs> crusty juggler so since I have the key card I can now explore every room because I can open up every door uh, it's actually pretty lucky that I got that so I'm gonna go floor by floor now open every door and just see what I can find <laughs> hopefully nothing requires too many teleporters uh, who do I have in front it's, it's been a few days Okay, so Thunderfart per usual, then I got my Charizard, I got Fat Neil taking up the rear, Burbasaur, okay, Blastoise has got to be close to evolving. Got to be close. Okay, that door is already open. Hmm. Hey, a door that's closed, okay. That's right, I have the magic power of door opening. So I've never been in here. Uh, help me! I'm a self-employee. I don't believe you. <laughs> you're challenging a child to a fight. I don't believe you. I think you're a Team Rocket, Connor. Cool name, by the way. It's Weezing! Weezing! It's the only Pokemon he has, so it's probably going to be a tough one. Let's see. 35. Pretty good level. Alright. Thunderbolt. Pikachu. Yeah, it's the Thunderbolt. Alright, don't poison me. That's all I ask. Hey, it's paralyzed. Just don't poison me. That's all I ask. Okay, good. Use the not the thunderbolt. Wait a minute. How does Pikachu have all of his moves back? Uh Isn't the last time I played uh like I was like really low on all my moves? Huh. Hey, Shell Razor! Come on, Blastoise! I don't know what level you evolved, Blastoise, but I thought you should have already evolved. What? Alright. Whatever. Alright, teleporter. Where are you going to take me? Eh, yeah, sixth floor. Okay. Special attack! I'm going to clear out this building of every single Team Rocket member. With Pokemon! They're trying to conquer the world! Team Rocket came and took over the building. Haven't I been here before? They must have targeted Silphco for our Pokemon projects. Yeah. <laughs> ah, apparently I've not been here. Okay. Yeah, you dare betray Team Rocket. I am wearing a Team Rocket uniform. Partial Team Rocket uniform. So he might actually believe I'm Team Rocket. Eradicate! All right, Thunderfart, you got this. Brick Brick. Fighting moves do real good against normal types. Real good. Now, if only my Pikachu had, like, uh... Uh, what's that? Is it Focus Blast? There's, like, a fighting move, which, uh... Is, like, a special attack. Crap, what's that called? Aura Sphere? It might be Aura Sphere. That sounds right. 
I wish Pikachu had that. That would make Pikachu like the most powerful Pokemon ever. Well, one of the most powerful. Golbat, this fight's already over. Golbats are weak to electricity. Poor, adorable Golbat. Alright, Golbat. Good night. We all need rest sometimes. So go to bed. Golbat. Hey, you traitor! You know what? It's, it's nice to play Pokemon. You know, I've had kind of a... I've had kind of a crappy week, so it's nice to go back to Pokemon. <laughs> Just something in this makes me smile. You know, nothing too dramatic, nothing too... Like... In-depth. Like, um... Like, my Hitman stream yesterday, I wasn't going for Silent Assassin like I often do. So I wasn't stressing myself out by trying too hard. I was just playing for the sake of playing, and that's what Pokemon is best at. That rotten president serves him right for transferring a star employee like me off the... Boondocks? Alright. That's why Team Rocket came after us, I'm sure of it. Alright. The Boondocks. It's not a phrase that's uh, commonly used. Unless you're talking about Boondock Saints. What? Ah, crap. Alright, so I gotta switch out Pokemon because uh, this is a terrible matchup. Yeah, it's a terrible matchup. Alright, Charizard. You got this. Dragon! Ah. Ha ha! Way to go, Charizard! Now, if only you actually had Flamethrower. You'd be so much better if you had Flamethrower. You're already great, but I wish you had Flamethrower so much. It's the best fire move in the game. Because it's the most consistent and fairly powerful. Alright, I'll keep battling. Alright, Magnemite. Prepare to meet the fire! Like, Ember's a fine move. But, like, Flamethrower does, like, 95 base attack, and Ember's at, like, 40. So it's, like, way better. Ooh, Magmar. Dragon! Yeah, that is you, Dragon. That is you on screen right now, and you're, you just put up a really good fight. Unfortunately, uh, Magmar is a terrible matchup. So I'm gonna switch you out for, let's see, I got Fat Neil. I don't think Fat Neil has any water moves. So, uh, Blastoise. Oh no, not Blastoise. Soon to be Blastoise. What'd you, what'd you do, Dragon? <laughs> what'd you do? You got a job at Disneyland? My guess is you got the job at Disneyland. There's nothing wrong with working at Disneyland. Like, that's awesome if you did, if that's the case. Alright. Ooh, Bubble Beam or Skull. I'm gonna go Bubble Beam. It's more classic. Oh, you went Black Friday shopping! Oh! Sweet! <laughs> You get anything cool? You get anything like this stuff, Lushy? Ah! I'm in love with this thing. It's so cute. Oh, using a credit card. I use the credit card. I use my credit card for everything. Uh, granted, I pay off my credit card completely every month, so I don't like build up any debt or anything. But, uh, yeah, I love using my credit card for everything because I use an Amazon credit card, so I get Amazon points from, like, every purchase. Uh, which lets me buy free stuff off Amazon, which is awesome. So I use it for, like, everything. Hey, it's Lemon Whiskers! <laughs> How are you doing, Lemon? It's always good to have you here. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I, Disneyland does sound like an awesome place to work and kind of a terrible place to work. Like, it seems like it'd be a little bit of both. Oh dear, oh dear, help me please. Alright. That man next to me, he's such a coward. Well, aren't, aren't all men cowards? <laughs> let's be honest. Alright, let's see. I got four pairs of shoes. Nothing wrong with shoes. I got like five pairs of shoes. So I didn't buy them Black Friday, but I mean like I own like five pairs of shoes. What's wrong with having extra pairs of shoes? I was raised by a single mother, so I understand and appreciate the usefulness of shoes. Uh, two bags, a beanie. I'm all about beanies. 
Black Friday, Black Friday, ah, I can't talk. Black Friday is a shit show and I wasted so much money. Lemon, I wasted a tiny bit of money. I actually didn't spend that much money in stores. I was showing, I still got all my stuff right here because I haven't had time to actually play with any of my stuff. Um, I mainly just got TV shows. So I got like uh, the new season of Arrow, the new season of Supernatural, the new season of Flash, the new season of Legends. New season of Supergirl. I got The Greatest Showman and Avengers Infinity War. Then I got this kick-ass Back to the Future t-shirt. <laughs> and then the only other thing I bought in stores was this adorable little Pokemon plushie that I found at the dollar store. <laughs> but everything else that I'm gonna buy, which I still haven't bought yet, is gonna be on like uh, the video game consoles. So I'm going to be spending uh, probably, not a shit ton, but I'm going to be spending more money than I probably should be spending on like Xbox games, PlayStation games, uh, Switch games. Sweatshirt, a wallet. Uh, what if you... <laughs> it's super fun, but really strict, so I've heard like they're really pissed off. Like they're really pissy about days off and stuff. Uh, Dragon, uh, Disney is a little bit uh, totalitarian when it comes to their 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 business practices. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. They're a little totalitarian. It's their way or the highway, and there's no wiggle room. I'm sorry if I'm a little far behind on, on chat. I got a little distracted uh, with the game, so I fell a little far behind. <laughs> I charged my card with 170. That, that, that's more than I spent in stores, Dragon. Nice. I only spent like 120 in stores. Uh, so yeah, nice. I'm proud of you. Yes, see, Lemon understands. Ruthless, princesses, princes. Oh, you got a book. <laughs> You asked about The Greatest Showman. Yeah, I paid like four bucks for The Greatest Showman, so I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> uh, Lemon, I pretty much did the same thing, just gifts for other people or shit for myself. Like, uh, just, I do pretty much my year shopping on Black Friday for the most part. A membership for Wizard 101. What the hell is Wizard 101? I, am I the only one that doesn't know what that is? What is that? Dragon wrote nostalgia after you wrote that, so is that supposed to be something nostalgic that I should remember but I don't? <laughs> My nephew mentioned it, you got sucked back into it. Oh, and I got- you got your car! Nice! <laughs> Very nice, you need a car, especially in LA. But I- you had to drive through LA traffic. I've done LA traffic driving, it's the worst. It's the literal worst. The greatest MMO ever. I don't know about that. Is it? I've never heard of it. Okay, hang on. Wizard 101. All right. While Pikachu deals with that Raticate. All right, Pikachu, use Brick Break. All right, Google, use Search Wizard 101. The first thing that pops up when I type in Wiz is Wiz Khalifa. That makes me happy. Um, all right. Wizard 101, 94% like this game. It got a six out of 10 on Steam. Wizard 101 is a massively multiplayer online Role-playing game credited by King's Isle Entertainment. Players take on the role of students of witchcraft and wizardry. I sense a lawsuit coming on that one. The fictional... Let's go to the Wikipedia. The fictional universe in which the game is played and battle enemies by casting spells using a turn-based combat system, like pretty much every video game in history. A sister game, Pirate 101, was released in 2012. Oh, um, it sounds like both of those are pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Is it free to play or what, what do we got? I don't think I've ever heard of it. Hey, I beat the girl. Yay.
came out in 2006 and I played the shit out of it, but I stopped playing around 2008 and just started playing it again. It sounds like you're gonna get sucked down the rabbit hole, Lemon, so be careful. <laughs> Let me be the first to tell you, from my own experience getting lost in video games, like, I love video games, don't forget to come up for air. Uh, especially with the dangerous slippery slope of an MMO. Uh, do not forget to come up for air. <laughs> Hey, all that matters is that it's fun as hell. I was all in the car by myself going on freeways. I didn't know with a bunch of other a-hole people who don't like anyone or anything. Hey, that's, that's California traffic right there. Bunch of other a-holes that don't like anyone or anything. Hey, welcome to the club, dragon. <laughs> kind of proud I didn't die. Every day of my life I'm proud I don't die. Because there's plenty of shit out there that could kill me. Like, I, California drivers are the worst. I'm surprised I haven't gotten... T-boned from somebody running a red light. And driving is scary. Lemon's right. I hate driving. So I give you nothing but props, Dragon. Like, especially driving around LA. That's the worst traffic I think I've ever experienced in my life. And I've driven a fair amount of places in this country, so yeah, I would say LA traffic is by far the worst traffic. LA itself is not a bad city. It, it's the traffic that makes it bad. You know, like, by far. Alright, so I need to go to floor three. Pirate 101 is trash. Oh, but you get to play as a pirate! I assume. <laughs> I, I love pirates. And not the Jack Sparrow kind of bullshit pirates. No, I mean like real badass pirates. Like, yar. Like the sea captain from The Simpsons. That's my kind of pirate. Yar. I hate the sea. Oh, it's free! I mean, until you start doing regional quests, then it's better to get a membership. Ah, but you said the magic word there, Lemon. Free. Yeah, maybe I'll give it a look-see. Thank you, Lemon. I'm using it as an excuse for all my Black Friday purchases. <laughs> the rewards New York is probably... I've driven to New York. It wasn't that bad. I thought LA... Was... I think LA is worse. But maybe I've just had more experience in LA. Ugh, that's a tough one. I've only had a limited driving experience in New York. I say LA is the most dangerous. Yes, because you could get shot on every street corner. That is LA. <laughs> it's slow and LA is faster. Well, yeah, but at least when you're in a cab, you just let the cabbie do the thing. Like, uh, you don't have to like stress about like, oh, am I gonna run the red light or is this person gonna cut me off? You just have to sit back and hope you don't die. <laughs> it's it's not so bad. I preferred to walk everywhere when I was in New York, so I I only dealt with a couple of cabs. <laughs> Did you see the new How to Train Your Dragon trailer? I'm so excited. Dragon, where have you been? I saw that trailer like a week ago. Unless they released yet another one. Like maybe they released the international trailer? Oh, whoops. I think I'm already on the floor I need to be. Like, um... The last How to Train Your Dragon trailer I saw was, I think, like a week ago, and I loved it. I've been using all my social juices. Uh, what? <laughs> Wait, what now? When did this conversation get creepy? What's a social juice? Is the juice loose? Dragon, I saw the trailer last night when I went to see The Grinch, and I was in tears. Ooh, The Grinch! I heard The Grinch was actually good, Lemon. Somebody from my work was telling me how they took their kid to see The Grinch. And they both really liked it, the kid and the adult. So, uh, what did you think of The Grinch? Because the last Grinch movie, I hate it. The one with Jim Carrey in like 2004, something like that. I thought it was terrible. But I've heard very good things about this new one so far. I'm literally dead and don't want to interact with anyone ever again. Hey, Dragon! You're me now. <laughs> That's me. I mean, I love interacting with people online, but like, sometimes I'm just like burned out in like real life. Like, I just don't want to meet up with people anymore sometimes. <laughs> oh, thunder fart. All right, you're a muck. Let's wash away the muck. Also, The Grinch is a cute fucking movie. 
I don't give a fuck what anyone else says. I... I... The people I talked to about Grinch, they liked it. So they weren't saying bad things about it. They, they had nothing but good things to say. They enjoyed it. Um, and I think it looks good. I, I haven't seen it yet, so I can't make an actual determination. But from what I've seen, it looks like it'll be a fun movie. <laughs> but yeah, the Jim Carrey one I thought was trash. If you've ever been to Universal Studios, you can see that they actually built that entire whole town. I, uh, I can respect the effort that went into the movie, but it doesn't make me respect the movie. Uh, that first Grinch movie was terrible. Uh, it was just... It was painful to sit through. <laughs> and I have sat through it. One time. And never again. Because I, that's, how, that's how little that did anything for me. <laughs> Way better, Jim Carrey's a gross person when he's in funny roles. <laughs> I agree with you, Lemon. Uh, I actually agree with you. My favorite Jim Carrey movies tend to be not comedies. Like, uh, one of my favorite movies of all time is um, uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. And that is definitely not a comedy. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen that, Lemon, but it's actually a really good movie. And it's one of Jim Carrey's like dramatic roles, sort of. Yeah, like, romantic dra uh, dramatic. And it's actually really, really good. Um, I'm trying to think of some of my other favorite Jim Carreys. I really like Jim Carrey in Kick-Ass 2. I actually thought he was fantastic in Kick-Ass 2. Yeah, uh, Lemon, you have good taste. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. It, well, I would say top ten. I would say that movie makes my top ten. Um, which is a... That's saying something, because I've watched thousands of movies, so anything that makes the top ten means that it's doing something right. Uh, but yeah, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, one of my favorite, uh, like, romance movies of all time, even though it's not really a romance movie, I mean, it's only sort of. But I love the relationship that they tell between Jim Carrey and Kate Winslet. And Dumb and Dumber's fun. I don't know if it's good. It's memorable, it's quotable, and I've watched Dumb and Dumber numerous times. I enjoy the movie. I'm not going to say it's a good movie, but I enjoy the hell out of the movie. Um, I, I quote it all the time, where it's just like, every time I see a piece of Samsonite luggage, Lemon, I always make that joke from the damn movie. Like, uh, what's, her what's her name? Well, I don't know, check the bag. Samsonite. Oh, I wasn't even close. Her last name's Samsonite. It's so stupid. <laughs> Alright, let's hope uh, uh, War Turtle doesn't get knocked the F out right here. Hey, okay. He attacked first. Nice. And, um, I always also quote whenever it's cold outside. It's like, I look over at somebody and I'm like, you were wearing two pairs of gloves this whole time? Yeah, it's the Rockies. <laughs> so that movie has its moments. It's not a good movie. But I enjoy it for what it is. Alright, I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon, because I just got two knocked out. Or one. Oh, either way. I can't afford to keep going through all my revives. I still need to watch your name with me, Turtle. We need to find a time slot. It's really difficult right now, Dragon, to find, like, time slots to actually hang out. Because I'm constantly getting these really shitty schedules at work that require me to go to bed so early. Like, this week... I... I don't even know when, um... Oh yeah, by the way, Dragon, look at this. This is... Look at this, I just fly around on my, my Charizard. This is... It's so cool. Oh, there's the Pokemon Center. This <laughs> Everywhere I go. Oh, you want to see the best one? Here, I'll show you the best one. I love riding around on Charizard everywhere. Like, it's so unnecessary, but awesome. But if you want to see something funny, this made me laugh my ass off. So, this is how you ride Snorlax. You just hug his belly and hold on for dear life. <laughs> but he's like the slowest mount in history. Like, this is as fast as he can go. <laughs> oh, that, that's my good fat Neil. That's my good fat Neil. <laughs> uh, Snorlax. I love this. Look at that. We're just hugging onto his nipples. 
<laughs> oh, I love it. Have you seen Tumblr since the Grinch came out? I have not seen Tumblr since the Grinch came out. It's full of daddy Grinch tags. God damn it. I'll have to check out Tumblr. Uh, put Dragon back in my... I, I prefer riding a Charizard over holding on to uh, Snorlax's nipples. Nothing wrong with Snorlax's nipples. I'm gonna throw that out there. But I'd rather ride on the back of a freaking dragon. A, freak, a freaking fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> I mean, Charizard is legit. That's why the TV creators gave Ash a Charizard in the first season, because it's like, yeah, let's give him the coolest Pokemon ever. Not my favorite Pokemon, but the coolest Pokemon. Rawr. I bet I could ride on top of, like, Aerodactyl also. It's because the Grinch is oddly attractive in this movie. The Grinch is always oddly attractive. Watch every Grinch movie ever made. There's something appealing about the Grinch. It's hard to say what it is, but there's something appealing about the Grinch. <laughs> I'm not saying I agree. I sort of agree. <laughs> I haven't... Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. It's also why Charizard has come back every single season since Ash got him. Damn right. It's because Charizard is literally the best. What? What's going on? First that kid who was annoyingly strong and now you? Why are kids allowed in here? I ask myself that question everywhere I go. Why are kids even allowed in here? <laughs> Not a fan of kids. Alright, let's see. There's something extra appealing in this movie. He has nice teeth. Right. This is my believing you voice. Right. <laughs> Your Pokemon seem to adore you, kid. Cause I'm a badass and I like to party. That's why, Team Rocket member. <laughs> God. Yelling at that Team Rocket member makes me want to watch Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind again. I haven't seen that movie for a couple of months. <laughs> God, just talking about that movie makes me want to watch it again. Lemon. I'm trying to think of other... Uh... Jim Carrey movies I really like. He's like the poor man's Robin Williams, where like, Robin Williams I could think of like a hundred, and he was less gross with his humor, whereas uh, Jim Carrey was a little more like, eh. I'm trying to think of other ones. Like, Sunshine's my favorite one. Um, might have to IMDB him to figure out some of his other movies. He was in Liar Liar, but I don't exactly love that movie. Um, I mean, it's okay. Hmm. Yeah, Drawn a Blank. Dr drawn a Blank? Oh! I just thought of a movie I do like of Jim Carrey's. Uh, and it's also not a comedy. Um, uh, the Truman Show. I really like The Truman Show. I actually thought that was a really good movie. I don't know if uh, either of you ever saw that. But, uh, Lemon, you ever see The Truman Show? Of course, I find Nurse Joy after I take the time to go to the Pokemon Center. Heal my Pokemon, please. <laughs> yeah, I'd say um, Truman Show is actually one of my favorite Jim Carrey movies. Um, I really like the story in that movie. It's a little effed up and a little, a little heartfelt. It's a good combination. Alright, so what floor am I on? Because I just found a Nurse Joy. And I'm going to need to remember that. Hey, one of the four Rocket Sisters. I need to beat the crap out of all of them. Yes, I did a report over it last year. It's a really good movie. It is a really good movie. And it's definitely a report-worthy movie. There's Because there's a lot of shit to say about that movie. Like, there's a lot of, like, cerebral stuff going on in that movie. But also, yeah, it's just a really cool movie. I surprisingly love that movie. I think they took it off Netflix, so I'm a little sad about that. But if it's still on there, then maybe I'll watch that tomorrow. I don't know, the only thing I would planned on watching tomorrow was going to be the new episode of Titans, which is one of my new favorite shows out there, by the way. 
Titans is amazing. Ah, I'm so happy with what they've done with it so far. Oh, and I still need to watch Lemon. I still need to watch the um, the Chilling Adventures of uh, Sabrina. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So maybe I'll maybe I'll look into that tomorrow. Oh, ninth floor. I gotta remember ninth floor, Nurse Joy. Okay. Like I really want to watch that show, and I just haven't had a lot of time to watch stuff lately. I've had a lot of time to put stuff on on in the background while I like do things I need to do. I've been listening to a lot of episodes of Community while I work around my apartment lately. But, um, yeah, ah, it looks so good. And then somebody at work was telling me they loved it, and they wouldn't stop raving about it. And I'm like, you son of a bitch, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I really want to watch it. Like, ah, I really want to watch it. <laughs> it looked so dark and messed up, but also, like, awesome. All right, science nerd, let's fight. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of anything else I'm behind on right now, but I think that's the big one. Is, um, Sabrina. Because I've caught up in almost everything else that I need to catch up on. Uh, if there's anything I'm forgetting... Oh, well, I, I'm not caught up on the new season of The Good Place, but, um, I'm waiting till the season ends before I, uh, before I watch that. Oh, dragon. Dragon. The new live-action Lion King. Okay, okay, you had to, you had to, you had to bring it up. Okay, it looked the trailer looked really cool. I'll say that. Here's my big problem with the trailer. I have a huge problem with the Lion King trailer, Dragon. It's that it looks like a copy and paste carbon copy of the animated Lion King movie. Like, give us a, a give us kind of a visually and story distinct story in the Lion King. It doesn't have to be exact. Like, damn it. Like, I've seen the animated movie a hundred times. I could quote the damn thing. But, ah, dragon. No, I want I want there to be some differences. Ah. Otherwise, I'll just watch the animated movie. Okay, Beauty and the Beast is different because that's one of my, that's a tale as old as time. Um, so, that's something else unto itself. I'm all about Beauty and the Beast. I love the story of Beauty and the Beast, actually. <laughs> Even though the end of that story still pisses me off to this day. Beauty and the Beast. Because it's, okay, here's the thing about Beauty and the Beast. It's like, oh cool, she learned to love him even though he's a beast. It's like, oh, then she kisses him and it's like, oh look, thank God he turned into a man, so I guess she's off the hook on having to love a beast. It's like, no, let him be the beast. I mean, yeah, that'll make their sex life weird, but, like, that kind of undoes the whole moral of the story. Where it's like she learned to love him for who he is and suddenly it's like, oh, thank God who he was underneath was a really attractive man who owns a castle. Wow, real, real rough having to stay with that guy. <laughs> so that's the only thing about Beauty and the Beast that ever bothered me, but I do love Beauty and the Beast. Oh, I should have switched Pokemon. Alright, let's see what this does. Oh, I should have switched Pokemon. Well, maybe not. He actually didn't do that much damage. Oh, but the poison! Oh, I'm switching Pokemon. Alright, uh... Who has a ground move? Dragon? I think you have a ground move? You do! Okay, good. I like the beast more than the man. I agree! The beast is kind of the selling point of the story. It's, it's, it always just, even as a kid, it really bummed me out that she just, like, it's just like, oh, by the way, you made this one sacrifice for ten seconds. He's, he's just a handsome man now. It's like, no, come on. Let the moral of the story be, you can stay with an ugly man, too. <laughs> Give the rest of us ugly men hope. Oh yeah, the rest of the servants were going to die if they didn't turn back. Like, the beast was just going to be a hairy beast. The rest of the servants, though, they were going to be trapped forever as they were and not even be sentient anymore. They were just going to die. So that's a whole different thing. Like, I'm glad they turned back. Ooh, Electabuzz. I love Electabuzz. <laughs> that's why you were disappointed as a kid? 
What, because he wasn't cute? <laughs> That's so shallow. That's so shallow, dragon. <laughs> Granted, that's why every woman I've ever dated has been disappointed in me. So, <laughs> you're not even cute. I know. Uh, that's fun. Ah, oh, crap. Dragon, survive. All right, I think Dragon can survive. One more hit. Come on. Yes. Finish him. Yes. Way to go, Dragon. I was a shallow seven-year-old. Uh, you hammered me. What? Ah, uh, dragon, you're wrong, but thanks for the sentiment. Hey! Hang on, hang on. Hang on, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. War turtle, goodbye. And... Blastoise! Blastoise! I've been waiting for Blastoise just because I have the plushie. Blastoise! Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> ah! I love Blastoise. Once it takes aim at its enemy, it blasts out water with even more force than a uh, fire hose. I got a Blastoise! Ah, oh, I'm really excited about that. And I got three Ultra Balls! Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> Ah, oh, love it. Okay. I think Blastoise is too big to follow me around indoors. Ah, <laughs> oh, dragon. Dragon, dragon, dragon. <laughs> Trust me, the general consensus on women I've talked to in my life tends to be that there's nothing much about this. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to talk to you again. Okay, good. That's the general consensus. And I'm okay with it. Whatever. <laughs> I don't date anymore, so I don't really care. Like, if I still dated or still had that whole hope, that'd be a whole different thing, but I don't have that anymore. <laughs> I like how I say that. But I don't have that. Uh, well, yeah. you're not wrong about that. <laughs> Uh, many of them have been a-holes, but, I mean, they still had a point. I can see it. I can uh, yeah, I can see it. Alright, fourth floor, please. Menswear. <laughs> now, I think I've mentioned it before, Dragon, how uh, I've never actually been in a relationship where I wasn't cheated on. Like, ever. So... <laughs> so, that's probably just because... <laughs> Because I look like a burn victim or something. I don't know. You ever see that movie where Mel Gibson had like half a face? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Only that dude was still Mel Gibson, so like he still had the kick-ass voice. I don't even have a good voice. Alright, Ratata. I haven't actually ran into a Ratata in a while. Yeah, I knew you could do a Pikachu because you're literally the main character. <laughs> Grimer. Grimer kicked my butt last time. So I should be careful. The poisoning is what gets me. I don't have a, I don't have a bunch of full heals. So I can't exactly <laughs> that is so adorable. So I can't <laughs> I can't exactly uh, cure Pikachu of poison every time he gets poisoned. Although now I guess I could go to Nurse Joy. You son of a bitch, he toxic me again. Ah, I gotta go back to the freaking ninth floor. That's why the poison did so much damage, because I'm badly poisoned. Okay. It's not just poison, it's badly poisoned. That explains a few things. Men can be dickholes too, yeah? Hey. We can absolutely be dickholes. <laughs> you are not wrong about that. I'm not bashing women, I'm just bashing, like, relationships. <laughs> like, I'm not saying that all women are like that. Like, I, I would never say something like that. That's too small-minded like every there's good and bad on all sides of everything uh, and I firmly believe that hmm all right I gotta go back to the ninth floor because I got poisoned depends on the type of person 
Did you see the trailer for the PG-13 Deadpool? I did not. But why would anybody want to watch Deadpool PG-13? <laughs> that sounds almost terrible. That's a movie I forgot to buy on Black Friday. I forgot to buy Deadpool. Oh, Deadpool 2. Ah, I meant to buy that. I also meant to buy Ready Player One, but they didn't have any more of the doorbusters for Ready Player One. Which made me sad, because I, I love that movie. Ready Player One blew me away how much I loved it. They make jokes about it all the time. <laughs> yeah, the book and the movie. Um, I personally prefer the book just because it's a visual extravaganza. Like, it's everything I grew up loving. Which is just like every movie ever. Like, uh, there's like a hundred trillion Easter eggs in the movie alone. The book is fantastic and I love the book. But, the movie... Ah... <laughs> Oh, you haven't read the book yet? Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, I didn't read it until um, until after I saw the movie. So I admit I saw the movie first. <laughs> but I was so curious because people kept telling me that the book was really good. I'm like, yeah, I'll give it a shot. And yeah, it was really good. I would say it's one of those books where, um, like, I would put it in the vein of Jurassic Park as a book. Where it's, it's as good as the movie, but in a, not better. It's different. It's like a different, same level quality. Where it's like, I love the movie Jurassic Park, it's classic. But I love the book just as much. But I, I couldn't put one above the other. My Pokemon are my loyal servants. I got a book called, uh, Gills? I'm gonna assume that says Gills. Gills of Paper and Fire, and I started it yester, and haven't touched it yet today, but but... I'm on page 231. Girls of Paper and Fire. Ooh, okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> that makes more sense. Ooh. Oh, light screen. Aw, that's adorable. Because, um... Because, uh, Brick Break uh, breaks right through that. Oh, nerd. See you next Tuesday. 42! Ah, oh, 43. Sad. 42 is the answer to life, the universe, and everything. So, um, I didn't even realize that. Which is, uh, by the way, my favorite book series of all time. <laughs> it's good, but super heavy, and I kind of regret getting it. Oh, what's wrong with heavy? I thought it was going to be nice, sappy romance story with a good story, but it's not at all. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of heaviness in our lives. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes we need more heavy stories. Sometimes, sometimes we go to a movie, we want to see everybody walk away into the sunset happy. And sometimes we want to see Spider-Man turn into dust. Oh, that's heavy. All right. All right, the R word came out. That's heavy. Yes, okay, that's, uh, ew. That's not, hmm, that's not a good kind of heavy, but it's also the kind of heavy that is sort of important to at least get the awareness of that issue out there. So if the book at least covers, as, as long as it covers that issue well, and maybe makes people who read it a little more aware of the dangers and the ramifications and all that, then I approve of the storytelling. But yes, that is a heavy topic. <laughs> I don't know what Pokemon he's sending at. Shiza. Electrode, okay. I'm gonna summon Charizard as a backup. Come on! Support trainer. There we go. Activate easy mode. <laughs> Some would call using this and summoning a second Pokemon mid-battle cheating. Uh, I say do something about it, Pokemon. <laughs> if it's cheating, stop me. I will use Dig. Charizard, get the hell out of Dodge. Crap, don't hit Charizard. Don't hit Charizard. Crap. Okay. Charizard does not exactly do well against electricity. Because unfortunately, he's part flying type. Ooh, good Pikachu. And... 
Boom! Dragon for the finisher! Oh, we got a little bit of wording there. Okay. It's a fantasy, so it has demon and stuff who are ranked higher than humans and all this stuff. And the king rips the human MC away from her home to make... MC, main character? Uh, away from her home to make her his concubine. Oh, concubine. Uh, because she has really special eyes that look like they belong to a demon, even though she's human. Okay, so it's demon storytelling. I love some of that stuff. Like, demon stories can actually be really interesting. Uh, depending on how they're handled. Like, there was an animated movie that just came out uh, called Constantine City of Demons. And I, uh, I loved it, but there was some real messed up stuff that happened in that movie. <laughs> like, stuff that almost made me, like, not want to eat my sandwich kind of stuff. <laughs> but it was a great movie. Alright, so I'm on floor four still. Gotta go heal my Pokemon. Ah. Now, you want to read a good book, Dragon? You should read... Where is it? Where is it? The Time Machine. That's a good book. H.G. Wells. <laughs> fantastic movie. Uh, fantastic movies and fantastic book. Like, classic sci-fi literature. It, there's not much romance, but I mean, like, you know. You don't know. You read more than romance books, right? <laughs> I think you, you read more than romance. Alright, let's see. And I thought it was going to be all sappy and they'd fall in love and he'd be a better king. But no, she falls in love with another female concubine and the king continues to be a complete ass and I don't know how much I like this even though it's such a good story. Even in some of our favorite stories, there's always going to be stuff we don't like. So, sometimes we have to take the bad parts of the, the stories with the good parts of the stories. Like, uh, look at most TV shows. Like, there are some TV shows that I absolutely am in love with and adore. But there are episodes of some of those TV shows that are absolutely terrible. Like, uh, like I was saying, um, I've mentioned this before. I love The Office. It's one of my favorite TV shows. There are episodes that I absolutely hate, that I just don't want to watch. You know, but it doesn't mean it, that I don't appreciate the overall show. It just means that it has bits I like and bits I don't. So that's the same with the book. There are parts of it that you'll like and parts of it that you won't. As long as it tells a good story at the end of the day, then I would say it comes out on the bright side of things. God, there's so many... Team Rocket a-holes in this place. I hope I can finish this tower tonight. God. Also a freaking Electrode. Summon Charizard. <laughs> okay, well. Well then in that case, uh, Dragon, it sounds like it's a book you don't really like. I didn't know it was the majority of the book. Well, I was thinking it'd be more like a 50-50, where it's like part of it you, d you love and part of it you just hate. Which, there's plenty of things I've watched and read in my life that have a love-hate relationship with. Yeah. That wasn't too bad. You didn't use Thunderbolt. If you used Thunderbolt, that would've been bad. Alright, let's finish him off. I guess Charizard is not gonna get an attack. All the small things. Alright, Blink-182. You like all the small things, huh? That's right. I just called you Blink-182. Fat Neil, level 36. All the small things truth can, truth brings. It's probably my favorite uh, Blink-182 song. Get out of here, support trainer. <laughs> ah, can't you see them? I'm hiding. Leave me alone. Oops. Nerd. Get out of here and fight! Get out of here and fight with the rest of us. <laughs> All the... Oh, I've been on this floor before. Okay. I think I beat up everybody on this floor. Okay, so floor six. Wait, no. I definitely did not fight this woman. Because I never went down a narrow passage. 
Although I don't think I saw her, but I'm pretty sure I fought everyone else on this floor. <laughs> Too bad. She has like the weakest Pokemon in the entire building. Sorry, I've been in and out of chat. I just finished a boss battle in Wizard 101. I might have to look into that game uh, after the holidays when I actually have a little more time to play video games. I feel like if I look into that game now, I'm going to get sucked into a really addicted MMO. And that that is a slippery slope. Ooh, Charbok. Alright, I'll keep battling, but I'll summon Charizard. Charbok! But yeah, like after December. So maybe like January I'll look into it. Because um, I don't have any MMO games I'm playing right now. I have an MMO-like game that I'm playing, uh, Destiny, but uh, it's only MMO-like. It's not an actual MMO. Yeah, let's use Ember. We can all play it, though. <laughs> well, yeah, it's an MMO. Ah, oh, Dragon's gonna get the finisher! What? I'm sliding happily down that slope. <laughs> Just be, just be wary, Lemon. Sometimes that slope isn't a slope, it's a pit. And it's real hard to climb out of that pit. It's like a Team Rocket trap. Where it's just like, you can't get out unless somebody drops down a ladder. Like, ah, you need a life raft. Yes, when you get it, give me your friend code. <laughs> I have to re-download it. Dragon, start that download. You should start that download right now. There is one MMO game I was thinking about getting into, but I know neither of you would actually play it. Like, neither of you. But, um, Star Trek Online, I noticed, was free. Um, so I downloaded that for my Xbox One. Um, so there's a good chance... Of, whoa, whoops. Get out of here. <laughs> so there's a good chance I'll probably start playing that MMO. So let's all just grab some and take out time. <laughs> I've taken out time before. Um, and then my life turned into Groundhog Day. Because I killed time. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> Thunderbolt! I had to take our time. Oh, not take out time. Okay, I thought you were talking about killing the universal embodiment of time. It's like, I'll, I'll find a way to do it. You think I won't? I'll find a way. As Ian Malcolm says, life finds a way. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get Charizard in for this. God, that is such bull that it lets me summon a second Pokemon in the middle of the battle. Like that that should not be allowed. I'm gonna do it because the game lets me do it, but I shouldn't be able to do that. That's like way too powerful. All right, double brick break. Oh, that did not do as much damage as I hoped. Yeah. I need to do half damage. You forgot the uh uh <laughs> uh um uh Alright, let's use a fire attack. Life uh finds a way. <laughs> well that's called gold blooming, actually, is when you say uh a lot. <laughs> and when you talk very, like, emphatically, <laughs> that's called gold blooming. I learned that from community. Alright, get out of here, support trainer. I don't need you anymore. Oh, it's so, I'm so happy I found the keycard right out of the gate. <laughs> this is such bull, does it anyway? It does! I just ha it hasn't it hasn't found me yet. It's Ian Malcolm when it's his line though. I, it's always Jeff Goldblum. Watch every single Jeff Goldblum movie ever made. Um he plays the same character in every movie. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love all those characters. But he basically plays the exact same character. Also, if you want to see the greatest PD Charlie! How you been? I haven't wow, it's been a while. What's good, Hurl? It's been a minute. Yeah, how have you been, Charlie? I don't even remember the last time you were in one of my streams. Yeah, how's it been? Um, yeah, um, 
If you want to see the best Joel, Jeff Goldblum movie of all time, Lemon. Watch a movie called Buckaroo Banzai. It is by far the best Jeff Goldblum we've ever gotten. And that was like before Jeff Goldblum really became mega famous. But it's glorious. I, I highly recommend it. He wears like a really flamboyantly colorful cowboy outfit like the entire movie. And it's fantastic. <laughs> Alright, I went in this room for a guard spec. Terrible. Terrible. Horrible item. There's a lot of freaking Team Rocket people to fight in this building. God. Alright, he's not somebody I need to fight. Okay, good. Looks like I've already fought everybody on this floor. Okay. There's so, there's so many people to fight in this building. Pretty good, bro. It's been a couple weeks for sure. Love the happy energy your streams always give them. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Charlie. I really appreciate that. I try. Um, I've actually had a really crappy week this week, so whenever I get a chance to uh, stream, it, I always just feel better. Like, uh, when I, like work the past few days have been pretty terrible. Uh, but when I stream, I'm just the happiest version of myself, I think. So, but thank you for saying that. That really means a lot. I, I try. <laughs> You know, it's, um, I kind of, like, create, like, a wall whenever I stream. So it's, like, whatever things are bothering me in real life, I try to just put them behind the wall until I'm done streaming. And I just try to enjoy the moment. It, which isn't always easy, but, yeah. You know, just gotta live in w what I'm doing. <laughs> so it's, like, right now it's, just like, Pikachu and talking about movies and Jeff Goldblum and books and, and talking to you, Charlie, and, like, yeah. Just real casual chill stuff. Which is what watching Twitch streamers should be for the most part. It's just like casual chill talking. Thank you, Charlie. I appreciate that. I, I do appreciate that because I've had a few people... Like, um, my boss has said... Well, one of my bosses has said this to me like a dozen times over the past couple of months. She always looks at me laughing and just says, You're such a dick. And I'm like, yeah, I know. So it's nice to hear somebody actually say I'm a good guy. Thank you. Like, my boss started telling me a story about her kids the other day, and I looked over at her and I'm like, you know I'm not listening to you, right? And she's like, you're such a dick. <laughs> but I'm, I always try to be nice on stream. I always try to be nice on stream. Because my Twitch people are my favorite people. People like you, Charlie. People like Lemon. People like Dragon. People like Hanny B. Even though she's not in here right now. Like, you know, some, one of my favorite pe uh, people persons out there. <laughs> I lose the ability to speak uh, intermittently throughout the week. It's really dangerous here. You came to save me? No. I didn't. I don't even know who you are, lady. <laughs> so yeah, what have you been up to? Um, what have you been up to, Charlie? Like, what's the past couple of weeks look like for you? Did you uh, do any cool, like, uh, Thanksgiving stuff? Or did you, uh, did you do what the rest of us did and shop it up for Black Friday? What? I bought a Pokemon plushie. <laughs> Rowlet! Arr! It has a leaf for a bow tie. It's so cool. I bought a bunch of superhero TV shows like Legends of Tomorrow and Arrow. Hey, I found a rare candy. Ooh, piece of candy. I'll throw out the um, Family Guy reference. Ooh, piece of candy. I mean, I'd love Family Guy, but I'll throw out the reference. <laughs> Ooh, piece of candy. Alright, you, lady, fight me. Hey, it's one of the four sisters. I need to defeat all four of them. So this will be my third Team Rocket sister, I believe. So she'll probably have a fully evolved Pokemon. Or not. All right, Voltorb. Your existence must be terrible, Voltorb, because you're just a round ball with eyes. How how do you eat? How do you breathe? How do you how do you enjoy the love of another woman? Like, I, I, <laughs> how was y'all Thanksgiving? <laughs> That's that. Oh, he exploded. Okay, and then he exploded. To throw out the uh, Galaxy Quest reference, and then he exploded. Are you saying he turned out inside out and then he exploded? 
Work dog, nothing too crazy. Just rolled my ankle. Oh, damn. Rolling your ankle? I've done that. It hurts. So I'm sorry. That sucks, Charlie. So I'm just chilling out for a week so we both had a bad week. Yeah. Uh, my bad week hasn't been, like, physical injury, but that's still, that sucks, Charlie. Uh, I have rolled my ankle before. That does not feel good. And it, it's, ah, oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. My Thanksgiving lemon was real boring. Um, you'd probably be disappointed in my choice of meal. Uh, I ate a can of Chef Boyardee spaghetti and meatballs, and I microwaved a can of... Uh, potatoes. <laughs> that was my Thanksgiving dinner. Was a can of Chef Boyardee, uh, spaghetti and meatballs, and and a can of potatoes. L yeah, you heard it right. A can of potatoes. And and then I just played video games and watched TV shows. And then I streamed for like an hour and a half, I think. I had like a short stream that day. I think I, I, think I played Hitman and I murdered people on Thanksgiving. <laughs> or maybe I played Destiny. I don't know. I... One of one of my games. <laughs> Mine was a hot pocket. See now a hot pocket. Okay, that's a damn good meal right there. Like a hot pocket's a real good meal. I feel like this chick, her strategy is just to use self destruct. So dollars to donuts. She's gonna use self destruct right here. Oh, okay. This is why I don't go to Vegas because I would never win any money. <laughs> Good thing I didn't make a bet. I feel ya, I tore some cartilage in my knee from the show we just finished. Oh, ouch. Ouch. I I have a little bit of torn cartilage myself, uh, Lemon. That's still healing from, uh, from a few weeks back. And I have a little bit of nerve damage in my right leg, which uh, acts up from time to time. <laughs> I know, I, I'm, I'm an old man, even though I'm not that old. I'm an old man. <laughs> Dragon Pulse! Oh, Charizard, I think, can learn that. That's, like, one of the best moves in the game. Um, it's, like, 90 damage. Charizard and Blastoise, you both just became 10 times better. All right, Dragon. You're about to learn Dragon Pulse, which is a really good move. So what am I going to get rid of? I'm going to get rid of... Oh, I don't want to get rid of Wing Attack. That's my only flying move. I guess I could get rid of Dig. I could always have him relearn Dig. Alright, so Dragon no longer has a ground move. I have to remember that. But it has Dragon Pulse. And I'm going to teach that also to Shellraiser. I should probably come up with a better name than Shellraiser. And I will get rid of... Okay, let's see. Scald is 80. And Bubble Beam is 65. Oh, Bubble Beam sucks. Okay, let's get rid of Bubble Beam. Damaged cartilage, not Tor. Yeah, yeah, Tor is, uh... I mean, that does happen. But I, either way, it's bad. Yeah, I got, like, nerve damage in my right leg right now. Uh, and it's been healing for a couple of months. Slowly. Like, it hurts, like, when I walk. But it's getting better. My knee is fucked. Ugh. Wait, so how do you have a Charizard and a Venusaur? How do I have a Charizard and a Venusaur? It's because I'm awesome and I like to party. Um, I have a Blastoise, a Venusaur, a Charizard, a Pikachu. I've almost... Okay, I'm gonna go full screen for this. Um, yeah, it is, yeah, it is what it is. Um, so I'm gonna go full screen for this. So I have something right here that I was showing Dragon the other day, but I, I don't think I showed anybody else. I have this really cool wall art right here of, um, I'm gonna turn off the TV for a sec just so I don't get that glare. All right, so I have this really cool wall art of, um, Pokemon that I, it's like my favorite thing. I got Charizard, Venusaur, Pikachu, Blastoise, Snorlax, and Lapras. So I almost have this whole Pokemon set on my game. I just don't have a Lapras. So once I get a, once I get a, 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 a Lapras, 
I will have all of these Pokemon on my Pokemon team. And then that will be me. Right there. <laughs> so yeah, my goal, I think, is to actually make that picture my Pokemon team. <laughs> because I already have the picture, and I do love all the Pokemon. So, I, I am all about Snorlax. Like, I love Snorlax. I named him Fat Neil in honor of the TV show Community. Uh, one of my favorite characters in Community is a character called Fat Neil. And he's fantastic. He only pops up a few times, but I love the guy. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, uh, Charlie. In this game, you have the ability, because this is basically a glorified remake of Pokemon Yellow, which was the Pikachu Pokemon game, uh, you have the ability to get all of the starters. Like, um, if you if you catch enough Pokemon in your Pokedex, and then you talk to certain people, they'll just give you, like, a Charmander. They'll give you a Bulbasaur, they'll give you a Squirtle, and they'll just be like, yeah, you'll do a better job of raising this Pokemon than I will. And, yeah, so that's how I have... A Burbasaur, a Dragon Soul, and a Shell Razor. <laughs> and now, two of them have really powerful dragon moves. Ooh! I didn't know... I didn't know he could learn Flash Cannon. Can anyone learn Dark Pulse? Ooh! Blastoise can learn Dark Pulse! Wow! Way to go, Blastoise! Why did I not teach that to Blastoise? That's way better. All right. <laughs> That's way better. I'm an idiot for not teaching that to Blastoise sooner. Oh, snap. Fat Neil can learn Psychic. All right. <laughs> that makes sense. Snorlax can learn Psychic. What? What? That, is, that doesn't even make sense. What can't Snorlax learn? Alright, so Lick is actually a pretty terrible move. Rest is actually a good one. Yeah, Lick is pretty terrible. I'm gonna get rid of that. <laughs> oh, you haven't seen Sick yet, Charlie. In this game, you can have all the Pokémon follow you. And, like, when I'm, when I'm not inside of a building, I'm just riding around on top of Charizard, or like, you know, riding around on top of, uh, holding on to uh, Snorlax's nipples, which is really entertaining and fun to watch. <laughs> like, holding on to his nipple for dear life. It's the only way to travel around the Pokemon universe, is to hold on to, uh, to hold on to a Snorlax's nipple. <laughs> In fact, I'll show you real quick, Charlie, just let me figure out what floor I'm on. I'm on 7th floor. Okay. I'm gonna go show you real quick, Charlie. And then I'll just come back up to the 7th floor. Thank God for elevators. <laughs> Alright, so when I go outside the building, if I existed in the Pokemon world, I'm gonna tell you right now, I wouldn't walk anywhere. And here's why. Because my pet can fly. So I'd just be like, alright, we're outside now. Charizard, let's go. Ah, ah, let's let's fly, master. Okay. But then you switch over to uh, Snorlax, and this one's ridiculous. I'm literally just holding. Me and Pikachu are just holding on to his nipples while he takes us for a very slow ride. Like, look at that. It's ridiculous. Snorlax. Like we're just holding on to the nips. And look at that smile on his face. He knows what we're doing. <laughs> Pervert. Perverted Snorlax. And I haven't actually seen what Blastoise looks like when he follows me. So let's take a look at that. Oh! He just follows me. But still, look at that. It's a Blastoise. Huh? Blah, 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 blah. Blastoise. Ah, I love the ability for Pokemon to follow you. Look at that! That looks so freaking cool! Like, I've wanted Pokemon to follow me in video games for years. Here we got Burbasaur, who, who will forever probably be named Burbasaur. 
Ah, Venusaur just jumps around like a frog. That's awesome. Venusaur. <laughs> ah, I love Pokemon so much. And then I still got to evolve George Bush. But, um, once he learns Giga Drain, I'm going to just use my Leaf Stone to turn George Bush into a Vile Bloom. Alright, seventh floor. Menswear. I think I already made that joke. Seventh floor. Lingerie. <laughs> Almost through this tower. God, this is a... There's a lot of Pokemon trainers in this tower. <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again. There's a lot of people to fight in this tower. <laughs> hey, random scientist nerd. Hey, hey, you mistook me for a self-worker. Hey. Hey. All right, Joshua, you look like a Joshua. All right, coffee. I like coffee. I'm actually sad I haven't found coffee yet. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. It's a, it's a weird Pokemon, but I approve. It has like a dopey smile that I love. The uh, coffee. And plus, Team Rocket's coughing was actually really sweet. Ooh, Magneton. Alright, Dragon, your time to shine. Although, if you get hit by a Thunderbolt, you're probably dead. <laughs> eh, you might survive a hit. Alright, Fire. Your only Fire move. Ah, so close. Okay, try attack. I'm okay with try attack. Try attack is not that dangerous because it's still a normal move. Even if they hit you with electricity, ice, and fire, <laughs> it still technically counts as a normal attack, so it doesn't do massive damage. I mean, it's a good attack. It's just, yeah, you know, I'm done for. Hey, I broke your glasses too, nerd. Give me whatever this is. A pee pee up. Aw. Got it. You gotta get the pee pee up. Alright, so I need to get to that room. Which means I need to use a teleporter. But I'm I'm clearing every floor of Team Rocket. Because I want to get all that experience. That's how you level up. Alright, have I been here before? I don't think I have. Oh, maybe I have been. She didn't fight me. Oh yeah, I've been on this floor before. But I don't think I've been in here because of a locked door. So this guy will probably want to fight me. Nope, nope, already been in there. Okay. Must have gotten in there through the teleporter. Okay, I've already been in there. So, ninth floor. Alright, ninth floor. Almost through the tower. So close. Non-stop Team Rocket battles. I don't think I fought you. Nope, I fought you. Okay. Oh, I remember you, lady. Okay, I've been here. Let's make sure. Always! Hey! How you doing, always? It's been a while. Uh, it's been a few days. I think you popped into one of my streams a few days ago. But you popped in, like, right as I was ending my stream. Uh, how have you been? How was your, um... How was your Thanksgiving slash Black Friday? Uh, you do anything cool? Or buy anything cool? We've been uh, exchanging Thanksgiving and Black Friday stories in chat for most of the stream today. It's so, like, yeah, what have you been up to? Alright, anything good in here? Random door? Hey, Pokeball! Pity they don't have Pokemon in them. That'd be really cool. I'm scared. Okay. Hey, finally a battle. Welcome to 10F. So good of you to join me. Good, I played some games and stayed home. And for Thanksgiving, my family was there and I was tired after. <laughs> yes, 
still sounds like a really chill, super nice, casual Thanksgiving. I, I'm jealous. Just good games, family, just nice casual times. I don't think people need to do anything too fancy in order to have a good time. So, good. I'm happy for you. Self-destruct. Lame. Lame. Why are you such a lame? Team Rocket lame-o. <laughs> That's such a lame move. Show Razor. Ooh, Radicate. I'll kick your butt, Radicate. Radicate. And I will kick your butt with Brick Break. How do you decorate Pikachu? Uh, I'll show you after I finish this fight, actually. Uh, they give you an option. Um, in, there's like a separate box for clothing that lets you decorate Pikachu. Thunderfart is level 44! Oh, finally I broke triple digits in special attack. It means Pikachu is officially a powerhouse. Alright, so uh, how you decorate Pikachu is throughout the game, you are given or you can purchase various clothing items. And then if you go into your bag, um, in the clothing trunk, it gives you the option to put an outfit on either your Pikachu or on yourself. So with Pikachu, I can uh, change out like his glasses from the really cool midnight sunglasses that I've given him to like thick wavy glasses. Which, I don't like those as much, so I'm going to go back to the uh, the Blues Brothers glasses that I gave him. And then, they, yeah, you can change his shirt. Like, I, I can make him a member of Team Rocket. I'm not going to do that, but I could. And then the same thing for... So, yeah, it's all in the clothing trunk. Uh, just, like, right in the bag. Uh, I forget, always, do you own uh, Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee? Like, do you own this Pokemon game? I assume you do, because, uh... Is Leo a high level? Um... Oh, that's... Flamethrower! That's the move I've been waiting for. Leo... Is not a high level. Um... Leo has been inside the Pokemon box for quite a while. Uh, where is Leo? Where is Leo? Where is Leo? Where is Leo? <laughs> There's Elf, still level 15. There's Lemon Whisker, right there. Had a level 13 Jigglypuff. Which is very Lemon Whisker. She, she really, like just, she reminds me kind of like of a, like a happy Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff, but really badass underneath. Just like, you know, sweet and bubbly on the surface, but she'll kick your butt if you piss her off. Let's see. Did I... What happened? Oh! I remember what I did with Leo. Okay. I think I remember... There he is. There he is. Leo is all the way at the bottom. <laughs> Sorry. Leo is level 9. Unfortunately, I had to switch out for some of the other big powerhouses. Like, uh... When I got Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Charizard, or Charmander, I had to replace three of my Pokemon. And unfortunately, um, Pidgey, Rattata, and Mankey didn't make the cut. So I had to replace all of them in order to get some of my favorite powerhouses. <laughs> and then um, I had another one not make the cut recently. It was, um, I think it was um, Hitmonchan got replaced for Snorlax. Oh, no, no, no. It was Opti that got replaced for Snorlax. Because Snorlax is amazing. Um, I believe you can always. But I haven't, uh, I haven't delved into any trading in this game yet. But I believe you can. Um, because people keep talking about it. But I've never done any trading in this game yet. But, um, 90% sure that you can? 95 I don't want to say 100 because I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure. In fact, I wonder... I'm going to save real quick. Uh, I wonder what the communicate option would do. Play with others. Mystery gifts. Is there a mystery gift out there right now? 
All right, let's see if there are any mystery gifts. No gift was found. Sad. Maybe I haven't gotten to the point where I can trade, because I feel like this would just be fighting other people. Yeah, I feel like this would just be fighting. <laughs> I'm getting the game on Christmas because I'm broke as a hobo. Right now, I'm relatively broke as a hobo. Uh, I have enough, I have a little bit of money that I can buy some uh, digital video games while they're still on sale. But I don't really have too much money for much else. So, I, I hear you. <laughs> but hey, nothing wrong with being broke as a hobo. The other day I was hanging out with my mom. Uh, we were Black Friday shopping. And she wouldn't stop asking me the entire time, what do you want for Christmas? And I'm like, I don't want anything, save your money. And then at the end of the day, I, I happened to mention like, well, I would love a Super Nintendo Classic because I would love to play Super Nintendo games on my big TV and be able to stream them. And now I think she might be looking into that for me. And I, But I really regret saying that because I didn't want her to get me anything. But like, yeah, I kind of recommended that. <laughs> But I really do, I want her to save her money for herself. She's had a tough year. So buy something cool for yourself, Mom. She's had a tough year. We all have, but I mean, like, she's had a tough year. Stuff's happened. Let's just say stuff's happened. Thunderbolt! Drowsy. Drowsy. All right, talk to you later, always. Zubat! Okay, good. I didn't see what Pokemon they were sending out before I uh, hit the button. Zubat. Thunderbolt. You're, you're just gonna be dust, Zubat. In fact, I should probably text my mom and tell her not to, to like, not even look into the Super Nintendo Classic, because that's 80 bucks. That bucks. Like, she... She shouldn't, I, ah. Uh. Like, yes, I would love to get that as a gift. Like, my god, I would love that. But she shouldn't. And I should try to talk her out of it. I think I might have talked her into it, and I shouldn't have done that. So I think I need to talk her out of it. <laughs> I don't want to be greedy. Like, yes, I would love to get that as a gift. I would go crazy for that. I, nothing would make me happier than to be able to play Super Metroid again. Only this time be able to stream it. Like, that'd be awesome. It's like one of my favorite games of all time. That set the tone for like half the video games I've played in my life. Is Super Metroid. <laughs> I also wish I could stream GameCube games. Because I would love to stream Metroid Prime. Unfortunately, streaming Game Boy games isn't... Or GameCube games isn't really a thing. Unless you use an emulator. And I know Nintendo kind of frowns on that. So I don't know if I should... <laughs> like, Nintendo really frowns on that? Like, a lot? Yeah, now I gotta go through teleporters until I find one that leads me to where I'm going. So I'll just start going through random teleporters and hopefully I'll find one. I don't remember what teleporter leads me to the boss. Out of my way. Alright, I'm just gonna go through every teleporter I see. <laughs> Theoretically, one would eventually turn into the proper one. Oh, a door I haven't been through. I bet this is it. How did I miss that? I fought. Huh, I fought everybody here, but I somehow missed a door. That worries me a little bit. Eek, no, stop, help! Oh, you're not with Team Rocket. I'm sorry, I thought. Oh, I'll give you one of our products. Please forgive me. Self-destruct? I'm not going to kill my Pokemon. Speaking of which, I got the TM for Flamethrower. I need to do something with that because Flamethrower... Charizard, you're learning Flamethrower right now. And we're getting rid of Ember because, my God, Flamethrower is better than Ember. Yes. All right, Dragon, you're now 10 times more useful than you used to be. Now you have Dragon Pulse and Flamethrower. Like, you you are probably the Pokemon I'm going to use to beat Lance of the Elite Four. Because you have Dragon Pulse. 
Huh. Fat Neil can learn self-destruct. That's crazy. I can blow up my Snorlax? I mean, I guess that could be a good last-ditch effort move. <laughs> Yeet. Huh. Oh, wow! Fat Neil can learn Thunderbolt. Blow him up. I'm actually thinking about it. Because if I ever get in a tight spot, I can just teach him that. <laughs> I can just have him use that and his, his attack is like off the charts. That's a little ridiculous though that my Snorlax can learn self-destruct. Yeah, his attack is way higher than his special attack. I could get rid of Yawn, but I like Yawn. Yawn is a helpful move. Rest is helpful. Headbutts? Not bad. I think I'll get rid of Yawn. Eee. I mean, his special attack is Balls, so he doesn't need Psychic. Like, his special attack is Balls. And rest is super important for a Snorlax. Because they just get all their health back. But later in the game, I'll just be using full restores. Let's get rid of rest. <laughs> I'll probably regret that later, but let's get rid of rest. Self-destruct. There we go. He knows self-destruct. I don't know when I'm going to have him use it, but he knows it. I also noticed he can learn Seismic Toss. Which is pretty awesome. But that's only a good move later. Because it's, uh, power is equal to your level. So, like, once you become, like, level 50 or higher, that becomes a good move. But, like, early on, that's a pretty terrible move. Oh, he can learn Brick Break. Yeah, I should teach him Brick Break. Hell yeah, he'll be my fighting move now. He's He totally should have a fighting move. Alright, so I, this is all about Snorlax right now. Hmm. Unfortunately, I feel like Yawn could go away. Because Venusaur has... Um, sleep Powder. So I can just put Pokemon to sleep with Venusaur if I really need to. Oh, I have Headbutt as a TM. I didn't know that. Alright. Gotten some good TMs in this tower. Holy crap. Some really good TMs. Oh, and Shell Racer can learn fl Flash Cannon. Let's see if I have anything I can replace. Because he now knows Dark Pulse, which will be really useful against Psychic Pokemon. And his special attack is really good. Dragon Pulse, so I'm not going to get ever get rid of Dragon Pulse or Dark Pulse. He needs a water move. I don't feel like he needs a ground move. Uh... Hmm. But I don't feel like he needs a steel move either. So I think I'll keep the... I think, I think I'll keep Dig. Because steel is really best against rock. And he's a water Pokemon, so he doesn't need a steel move to beat a rock Pokemon. He's got water. He's a Blastoise. He just blasts him with his with his cannons that nature gave him. Somehow. Somehow he evolved with giant cannons on his back. I don't understand it. But I'm also not a biology major, so... How can a creature evolve with cannons on its back? The, I, that's a question. <laughs> I don't know, how do creatures also evolve saying the name of their own species? It's, it's, it, these are the questions of the ages. Hey, it's Asphart. Did I already beat this guy in the tower? That's far enough. What? You again? Me again, as many times as it takes. I will not let you reach the boss. Huh? 
Legendary Boy. I love the name, by the way. Legendary Boy. Yeah, Pokemon are thick. Um, you should check out my, uh, my butt hurts. <laughs> Mine too, actually. I've been sitting down in this chair for like four hours. So, uh, I hear you. <laughs> I don't think it's a problem. Although it could be a blood clot. But yeah, Pokemon are thick. You want to see thick. I've got nothing but like giant fat Pokemon. So I've got like Blastoise, Snorlax, um, Charizard, Venusaur, like all thick. Turtle, do you think? Giovanni must be here. So the boss of Team Rocket is right here in this building. Let's just shoot him. That makes things easier. Go, Turtle. This is our best chance to beat their boss. Old man, you'll be dealing with me. So, Legendary, how are you doing today? Uh, you had a... Did you have a good, like, Thanksgiving? Good Black Friday? What have you been up to? Hey, Legendary Boy! Thanks for the follow! I'm only ever gonna say your name like that, by the way. Legendary Boy! <laughs> Hold it right there, twerp! I pooped my diaper. Nothing wrong with that. It happens all the time. I dare you to find a grown man who a hasn't actually pooped himself at some point in his life. I dare you. <laughs> I've pooped myself before. It happens. <laughs> Not in a long time, but it, it happens. All right, Charbok and Weezing. I'm thinking, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, shocking! Team Rocket is using the most unexpected Pokemon ever. <laughs> All right, Charizard. It's time to test out your new moves. All right, so I'm gonna use Thunderbolt. Take out, we uh, take out Arbok. We're gonna focus off Fire and Arbok. Huh? Interesting. And then flamethrower. Also an Arbok. <laughs> Pikachu and Charizard are girls. Um, are they? I actually, I don't think I looked at their genders. Or boys. I'm actually not 100% sure what they are. I think Pikachu's a girl. Charizard's a boy. Charizard's also level 42. Life, the universe, and everything. Charizard has the answer. Alright, just don't poison me and we'll be good. <laughs> Son of a bitch. The one thing I asked for. Don't poison me. Alright. Whatever. Whatever. Let's kick Weezing's ass. Thunderbolt. Weezing. And let's just stick with Flamethrower because it is a beast move. Alright, any day now. Okay, there we go. I'm like, any day now, video game. Ooh, half dead. Come on, Charizard, finish him off. I'll take it. Woo! Team Rocket, they're nothing. Jesse and James. Oh, my! Why is my poop thick when I haven't pooped all, all this month? I know my tummy hurt, mom help no. <laughs> you know, these are questions that uh, most people need answering in their life. <laughs> Alright, legendary boy. Thanks for stopping by, I do appreciate it. <laughs> it was a fascinating conversation, but I, I genuinely appreciate you stopping by. I hope you have a good one, man. Alright, so I need to heal Pikachu of poisoning. Uh, I think I have. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I think I have a poison heal. Yes, I have a full heal. I'm gonna go fight Giovanni. I'm gonna need my Pokemon at their best, so I'm also gonna heal him. Her. Yeah, that should be good. Alright. Wait, what chat did I just come back to? I will poop now. Uh, dragon, uh, I'm not sure. A little bit of poop. <laughs> Bye, Legendary. Again, thanks for stopping by. Poop talk or not, I always appreciate the support, so thank you. <laughs> so, Dragon, what have you been up to? What have you been doing? You've been, uh, like, 
trying on all your new shoes, playing with your new bags. Oh, it's Giovanni! No, no. Oh, let's go. Okay, what, what did I have his voice? Ah, movie trailers. Some of my favorite things to do are just watch movie trailers. I love movie trailers. Uh, my, uh, my favorite YouTube channel is Kino Check International because they post all of the most recent, like, and up-to-date TV trailers and movie trailers. And uh, they also have this really cool thing where they post all available clips and trailers to a movie, like, in one video. So you can just watch them all back to back, which is uh, pretty cool. Now, now, Mr. President, I hope you're not thinking of lying to me. The Master Ball. Ooh, I'm going to use that to catch uh, Mewtwo. You successfully created one, didn't you? Do you think it's that easy to make? Uh, if it was that easy to make, everyone would have a Master Ball. And now that I know who you really are, there's no way I want to make a thing like that. Not for someone like you. How dare you? Oh, Giovanni. Man looks angry. Or he looks hangry. Uh, <laughs> it's my favorite kind of thing to be. I'm so hungry that you're just angry. How dare you? And give up any thought of forcing us to create a... Lots of powerful Pokemon for you. Using stolen research to create Pokemon, that's not something Sylph should ever do. We had a deal. You agreed to this. You're, you're a smart man. I'm sure you can imagine what will happen to your people if you say no to me now. I will shoot them all. <laughs> Hello, little child. Ah, young turtle. So we meet again. Hey, you, re you remember my name? Say my name. Say my name, bitch. The president of Sylph and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Mr. Giovanni, are you trying to seduce me? <laughs> Keep your nose out of grown-up matters. Or experience a world of pain. Mm -hmm. Team Rocket boss Giovanni. Love that jacket with the R in it. I might have to see if I can find one like that. It's actually pretty cool. The turtleneck is a bit much. It actually makes him look like a dickhead. But yeah, I'm all about that jacket. It's like a Team Rocket University jacket. Ooh, before I go into this fight, come on, Charizard. <laughs> this isn't an official Pokemon battle, so I'm gonna say screw the rules. And let's fight with uh, everything I got. So brick break, and damn, okay, brick break and brick break, <laughs> double brick break. Ah, all right, come on, Thunderfart. I mean, Charizard. All right, one more hit of a brick break will finish off this Persian. And then he probably has Ride on. And I'm trying to think of what else he would have. Nido King, maybe? I think that's what he has in the cartoon. A Persian, a Nido King, and a Rhydon. I don't know if the same is true in the game. I don't remember. Rhyhorn. Okay, so it hasn't evolved yet. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, a Pikachu is going to be relatively useless against a Rhyhorn. Ooh, but Pikachu... Yeah, I'll switch out Pikachu. And I'm going to send out Blastoise. Oh, look at that sexy turtle. And then Charizard. Best move you got is probably Flamethrower for something like this. All right, Thunderfart, come on back. Go, Shell Razor. Blastoise. All right. The two legendary powerhouses, side by side. We got Blastoise and Charizard working together. Ow. That actually did a lot of damage. Alright. Scald, please. And Charizard, Flamethrower. Use your powerful moves. Both of you. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for showing up. Blastoise, I guess. Guess I didn't really need your uh, your water move. Hey, George Bush, come on, learn Giga Drain. Damn it. 
Nido Queen. I was right about one of them. Alright, so a psychic move. Ooh! I think a dark move might actually hurt Nido Queen. So let's use Dark Pulse. Then I'll stick with the default flamethrower, because flamethrower. Hard to go wrong with a flamethrower. Blah. Eh, not terrible. Blah. Okay, not as much damage as I was hoping for, but it caused him to flinch. So let's try Dragon Pulse on Blastoise. And flamethrower. Nice to have powerful Pokemon. Oh, poor Blastoise. Barely got a chance to do anything. Alright, Giovanni. Arg! <laughs> that might be the screen capture right there. Arg! Alright, I'm at 140. 50. That might be the screen capture for the video on YouTube. <laughs> Just Giovanni looking pissed off. Arr. He's giving me the pirate look. Arr. He also gave me 6,000 bucks. That's some bunts. Blast. I have little choice, it seems. I will relinquish Sylph for now. But Team Rocket will never fall. We have the high ground, Turtle. Never forget. All Pokemon exist for Team Rocket's use. I may leave you now, but we will meet again. <laughs> Later, dickhead. <laughs> Woo! Oh, get out of here. Alright, let's save. And then let's get the Master Ball. Let's talk to his assistant first, his cute assistant. Her, her name is Secretary? That's actually really sad. And sexist. Thank you for rescuing all of us. We, from the president on down, are indebted to you for what you did. Well then, give me money. Oh, dear boy. Thank you for saving us here at Self. Gotcha. Woo. Wahaha. -ha. I suppose that's so. <laughs> it wasn't just you. It was that wonderful partner of yours, too. I will never forget how you saved us in our moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way, and I'm quite magnanimous. Great word, by the way. So I can give you anything. Here, maybe this will do. Please be a million dollars. Please be a million dollars. That works. I'll take it. You can't buy that anywhere. It's our secret prototype. The Master Ball. It will catch any Pokemon without fail. Truthfully, we've only succeeded in making just the one. So you should probably be quiet about using it. Yeah, I'm gonna be quiet by screaming it from the rooftops. I just caught a Mewtwo! Alright, any money? Okay, nope, that's okay. I would have preferred money, but a Master Ball. That's cool. Two. <laughs> Alright, I saved Self Company. Just another day in the life of a hero. <laughs> it's not easy being a hero, but somebody's gotta do it. Certainly law enforcement in this world is not going to do it. So it might as well be a 10-year-old child. Oh, God. I have to go through so many teleporters just to get out of here. Heal my Pokemon, lady. Yeah. It's okay that you're a spy. Team Rocket's dead now. I killed them all. <laughs> That's what happens to them when they lose a Pokemon battle, right? They die. I think that's what happens. I might be wrong on that one. Pika! Ooh. Hey, everybody. I'm the hero. Any kind of tool that can be used for good or evil, depending on the person using it. I shudder to think what would happen if Team Rocket had gotten their hands on Sylph technology. Hey, always is back. Welcome back, always. Alright, let's see. I think now that I've saved the town... Turtle, you did it! You beat Giovanni, right? That archer guy made a run for it, so I chased him all the way out here. And then all the Team Rocket grunts ran right out of Saffron City, too. Guess we're lucky you're such a strong trainer, Turtle. To be honest, I was a little scared. Like, what would have happened to us if it had turned out the bad guys were the strongest? You know? 
But you and me, Turtle, we really managed to save Sylph. Nobody will have to go through what Cubone went through ever again. Alright, now that everything's back to normal, I guess it's time for the next Pokemon Gym. Have you been to Saffron City Gym already, Turtle? How many badges have you got? That many, huh? Wow! Maybe we'll both make it all the way to the Pokemon League. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Let's both give it our best shot. See ya! I'd say it's a safe bet we're both going to make it to the Pokemon League. I feel like it's uh, predestined. Alright, so I've already healed my Pokemon. You couldn't believe how much power Saffron City burns through. It's through the roof. We've got to keep up the maintenance. There's no Steel type, Jim, but I'd love it anyway. The, yes, the Steel type. Steel type moves are strong against Fairy types. There are barely any Fairy types, so that's not really saying much. All right, Officer, Officer Jenny, what's your excuse for allowing your city to be taken over by criminals? Are you the one who chased away Team Rocket? No, don't say anything. I can tell just by the look in your eyes. Thank you. Please take this. Hey! She just deputized me. I'm now a cop. Let's go see what those look like. Outfit for Turtle. Let's see what my police cap looks like. Oh! Actually, I like that. I love how you can ride the Pokemon. It makes me so happy. It's like the best thing in the world. Alright, let's see what the police top looks like. I do not like the police top. I mean, I do like the police top, but I don't love it. Police shorts. Versus sports shorts. Eh, I like my current shorts. What are police shoes? Eh, I like my brown shoes. Alright, can Pikachu wear any police clothing? I could deputize Pikachu, but I love the Blues brother, Brothers look. Do you like the police shorts the best? I love those little light blue stripes on uh, my... on the shorts that I'm wearing right now. Like the, uh, the sports shorts. Like, I don't like the sailor shorts. Although the, the sailor shorts do look good with the black shirt. Um, I like the shade of blue better on the police shorts. I'll, I will say that. Also, I played Blues Brothers in middle school band. Nice! I hate the Pikachu shorts, because yellow is like my least favorite color. Um, but I really like that blue stripe. It kind of reminds me of like Iron Man, when he wears that outfit. Like, it has like the stripes throughout it. And I love Pikachu's Blues Brother look. Like, it's, it's so ridiculous. I don't think I'm ever going to change it. But thank you, Officer Jenny. I, I love the hat. Charizard! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh! Hello! We just entered Vegas, apparently. <laughs> Yo! Champ in the making! Surprised by all the glitz and glam? Saffron City is the biggest city in Kanto, and its gym gets its fair share of challengers, too. You'll need to have a Pokemon that's at least level 45 if you want to stand any chance. Do I have a Pokemon that's at least level 45? I do not. I almost do. Okay. Damn. <laughs> I I got kicked out. Um. Alright. Let's see. Have I... Is there another gym I haven't done? Pikachu! This is Pikachu showing off its dance moves. <laughs> Alright. So I can't challenge Saffron City yet, but I think I can go south of Lavender Town and fight a bunch of trainers along Route 12 and 13. And then that will level up my Pokemon a little more. God, level 45 though is what they want. Ah, I'm underleveled. <laughs> Apparently I'm now underleveled. Rawr. It's so unnecessary to ride Charizard like this, but I love it. Dragon Soul is feeling totally carefree. Aw, oh, good for Dragon. She needs to feel more carefree. Doot, 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 doot. 
Hello, officer. There's a lookout area upstairs with binoculars. The view is magnificent. Magnificent, I say. A forgetful old man lives on Route 12, or so I hear. That's mean. I'm the most chill person you've ever met. I don't know about that. I've met some pretty chill people. Hey, roost! I think that's a bird move. I think that's uh, the same as, uh, like, uh, that heal move, recover. I think that's the same as recover, but for birds. Yeah. Can anybody learn this? Charizard can learn roost. Wow. No, thank you. Don't get me wrong, it's a cool move, but no. I'll just heal him with potions. It'll work out. <laughs> ba, ba. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, it's Fisherman. Well, I guess I'll leave Pikachu in front because it's a Fisherman. He's probably gonna throw out a water Pokemon, I'm just gonna say. Safe, probably gonna throw out a water Pokemon. Yeah. Staryu is so cool. It's so weird, but it's so cool. It's such a simple design, but I like it. Star me is pretty badass, actually. In fact, I have a shiny Star me on um on my 3DS, and its coloring is pretty sexy. All right, Ned. That's all you had. Wow. All right, Charizard, let's go. Ah, oh, I can't surf yet. Okay. Be patient. Fishing is a waiting game. Not really that patient of a guy, so I don't know if I want to be patient. Chip. Hey, Polly World, one of my favorites. Polly. It's so cute. It's like so ridiculously cute. And Thunderbolt. So I just realized they're all level 27. I feel like I should have gone down this route a long time ago. I don't feel like anything is going to threaten me on this route if they're all that low level. Hey, Burbasaur! But they'll still give me experience. And I still need to go through the thing, so... Yeah, I'm okay with it. Ah, lure. I mean, that'll come in handy later when I'm farming for shinies. Which I do plan on farming for shinies in this game. Uh, not anytime soon, but... And maybe not on stream, I'm not sure. But I do plan on farming for shinies. I've read a couple of good strategies. Magikarp. That's so sad. That poor Magikarp. Like, it's life is hell right now. You zippy zap. Please? Oh, carp, 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 carp. That was just messed up. That was just messed up. Now that's a that's a better fight, seeking. You have a Magikarp and a seeking. That is that is so unbalanced. All right, I'll take Magikarp moderately seriously and use Thunderbolt. Hey, water Pokemon. Good job, Pikachu. That's my good Pikachu. And then a Poliwag. That's an adorable Pokemon. Polly! It, it really is adorable. Look at that thing. Thunderbolt. I hate to fry it. But what else am I going to do? Oh, I hate the sad looks they get. But I'm happy to get the experience. <laughs> alright. I don't see why I would ever use a repel, but alright. Ba -ba -da. That's a big tadpole. It's a big, adorable tadpole. <laughs> 
I may be the biggest fan of fire Pokemon, but I have to admit, there's a lot of cute water Pokemon. <laughs> oh, damn! This boy's got a Gyarados. Time to kick its ass with a Thunderbolt. I'm pretty sure electricity does times four damage to Gyarados. Because I think Gyarados is a water flying type. So it's double damage because it's water, and then it's extra double damage because it's flying. So this should wipe him out. Yep. Give me all that experience. Sorry, Gyarados. You're a cool Pokemon. Ooh, I'll take it. And then a Magikarp? If your Gyarados couldn't win, what the hell's a Magikarp gonna do? Dude. I'm not even gonna dignify you with a with an electric move. Floaty fall. Please get those balloons. Fly high in the air. And boom. <laughs> Poor Magikarp. Somebody's gotta call Animal Protective Services whenever somebody like that throws out a a Magikarp against a Pikachu. Like that's criminal. Like that guy does not deserve to be a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> like that's just wrong. Oh, it's an ace trainer. Hmm, they tend to be tough. <laughs> Your partner sure is cute. Let's have a battle. Yeah, that's an ace trainer. Look at that hair. It's awesome. Ooh, Tangela. It's a good thing I'm bringing out Charizard for a flamethrower. Alright, so you use Floaty Fall, because I think flying does extra damage against grass. And then Flamethrower. Are you saying that just because the types are against a Pokemon, they can't beat them? Yeah, that is exactly what I'm saying. In particular, a Magikarp is literally the most useless Pokemon in the history of Pokemon. It can't do anything. It only knows Splash. So yeah, yes, 100%. Like, it is a helpless Pokemon. And it's always something that amused me, too. Because I love the idea... Ah, crap, an Onyx. Uh, why does a... Ah, you're surrounded by Magikarps and you send out an Onyx? Dick move, bro. Um, so I'm going to switch out to a Blastoise. Yes, in the Pokemon world... Yes, there are. In the Pokemon world, there are Animal Protective Services for fish. I have to believe that. <laughs> I'd care. Like, that's messed up. I would care. Um, so, it's something that's always amused me, Dragon. Um, the idea, of, like, in the Pokemon universe. Like, just... Let's say somebody in the Pokemon universe didn't know anything about Pokemon. And they're like, oh, I'm gonna give my kid his first Pokemon. They go to a pet store and they buy a cute little adorable Magikarp. And then like one day in the middle of the night, while that kid is sleeping, it just evolves into a giant sea dragon monster. Like that's bigger than their house. It's like, I, I just love the idea that out of nowhere, this tiny little adorable Magikarp can evolve into a sea dragon like 30 feet long. <laughs> It's almost ridiculous, but I love it. All right, Scald, please. And Charizard, use Brick Break. All right, finish it off, Blastoise. Yeah. See you next Thursday, Onyx. Alright, special attacks almost in triple digits. Oh, I can finally take on the gym. But unfortunately, if 45 is kind of the level, that means all my other Pokemon are probably pretty underleveled. So I should probably just keep going down this path. And try to level up as much as I can. Before I go back to that gym. Because I actually feel like I'm underleveled for that gym. Okay, time to make a save. Yes, I have a Snorlax. 
I want a second one. <laughs> okay. Uh, ba ba ba. Get back out of here. There we go. Why'd you go away? I don't remember if I saved, because I've already forgotten. So I'm gonna make another save. Time to catch another Snorlax. Yes! The flute! Snorlax. He thinks I'm food! That's actually the most flattering thing a person would probably think. Oh, Snorlax attack rose. Last time it was defense. Alright. That's... I haven't played a flute in like 25 years, Dragon. I don't really remember how to play a flute. Alright, I'm gonna use Brick Break. Eh, it's all the same. Um, and Brick Break. <laughs> Woo! Look at that damage. That was a critical hit. A Clarinet or an Oboe. Wow, I finished that fight fast. Sir, sir, no. Was this because I said they're all the same? I figured I'd get some flack for that. Hang on. Great ball. Actually, do I have Ultra Balls? I do, but I think I should save those. Where is your flute pride? Probably in hell with my flute. Like, I don't even know where my flute is. I don't, I, I might still own it? I'm not sure. All right, I'm gonna give you a raspberry. Hey, all right, let's see if this works. Yeah, keep it in. I've, I've heard this helps it, but I don't know. Hey, first, first throw. First throw of the night. You're welcome, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, you're damn right I got better. I learned what I was doing. <laughs> Off stream, I learned actually how to... Happy learned how to put. Uh-oh. <laughs> Bonus multiplier, six. I got 2,100 experience from that. That's gonna level somebody up. Woo! Dragon Soul is a little more powerful. Ooh, Slash. Wow. You want to learn Slash? No. Well, let's see what you got. Dragon Pulse, Swing Attack. No, we're not going to learn Slash. <laughs> Fat Neil. Love you, Fat Neil. Wow, this is a giant one. He is... Three... He is more than 300... <laughs> hey... He is more than 300 pounds heavier than my current Snorlax. And almost, and two feet taller. Damn. Why my throat? That sounds so violent. All right, let's take a look at, uh, let's take a look at my new Snorlax. Oh, actually, before I do that, let's bung a save down so the game doesn't crash, even though it never has. Um, and then I have to catch Snorlax again because I did perfect on that. Let's take a look at my new Snorlax. Level 34, so he's not much lower level than my current Snorlax. He's actually roughly the same level. He's only like two levels lower, three levels. Oh, there we go. Alright. His attack is his weakest trait, and his defense is his maximum trait, so that's not great. But I think his attack is... Huh, let, let's look at my Snorlax real quick. Fat Neil. No, Fat Neil's doing pretty good. Yeah, he's only three levels higher and his attack is like ten higher. So I feel like Fat Neil's the way to go. And Fat Neil's stats actually all seem to be balanced. Which is a really good thing to have. 
It's weakest stat being speed. It's second weakest being defense. Which is a little weird that it's, it's second weakest is defense. Because look at the guy. Okay. And now... See, I'm, I'm gonna name this Snorlax after... I don't think he's in the stream anymore. But I'm gonna name this after Charlie. For, for popping back into one of my streams. So PDE Charlie. So one day, he might find out that I named a Pokemon after him. <laughs> there we go, PDE Charlie. And I'll move him closer to the top so I will see him easy. Right there. Now I got two Snorlaxes. Yes. Yeah, Charlie. Name it Chubbs. Oh, Chubbs would have been a great name too. Uh, oh, Chubbs would have been a great name. No, nah, I'm going to stick with Charlie. I'm going to stick with Charlie. Although I do like the name. That's actually a really good name for a, for a fat Pokemon like Snorlax. Chubbs. Makes me think of uh, Chubbs from from Happy Gilmore. The uh, the golf coach that dies. gets Dies from a heart attack because of uh, the head of an alligator. Alright, let's see. What's this way? Never heard of that. Wait, you never heard of Happy Gilmore? It's uh, like Adam Sandler's most famous movie. Sad. You, I think you would actually like that movie. All right. That breaks my heart a little bit, Dragon, but that's, that's okay. It's not exactly a favorite movie of mine, but I do love it. I remember me, I'm one of Professor Oak's assistants. The professor told me that if your Pokedex has good data on 30 species of Pokemon, I'm to give you the judge function. Oh, cool. I know what that does. And I do, I yeah, I'm good. Yes, I have. I believe that lets me judge IVs. So it lets me know how good some of these stats are. So I'm going to go back to watching movie trailers. I'll see you in a bit. Um... I'm probably pretty close to ending my stream dragon, so um, I might actually be gone by the time you come back. <laughs> yeah, this lets you see IVs. That's awesome. Let's take a look at uh, the... Yeah, so... Um, it's, it's a little after 6, so I'm probably pretty close to the end. How does it let me check their stats? Or do I have to inspect them in the box? How do I judge IVs? I was just gonna like almost mute you. <laughs> That's alright, Dragon. Huh. Do I have to activate this judge thing? I might have to Google how to use it. Or watch the video, because they probably told me and I just didn't read it. <laughs> That's entirely possible. Either way, I'm happy I have that option. Or is it a separate item, maybe? Max Lure, Silph Scope, Lift Key, Catching Pocket, Battle Pocket, Power Pocket. Maybe I have to do it from the box? Oh, Pidgey. That's Elf right there. Huh, I'll have to figure out how to do that later. Okay. So let's let me get back to the, uh, the route. And then I think that's probably where I'll end my stream. And then I'll probably be playing more Pokemon tomorrow. Yeah, right here is a good spot. So I'll save right here. And yeah, that'll be the end of my stream. So I just want to thank everybody that tuned into my stream. It always means the world to me that anybody would be willing to watch me play video games. So it warms my heart when, when I have viewers or when I have new followers. 
and I want to give a special thanks to Legendary Boy 93 for the follow. And uh, thank yous to Dragon Soul of Fire, Lemon Whiskers, Always, Legendary Boy again for the for the chat, PDE Charlie. Uh, was anybody else in here? I don't think so. Um, yeah, but thank all of you, especially for the keeping me company in chat and give me people to talk to about movies, books, life. Just like, video I love streaming with all my heart and being able to interact with people while playing video games makes streaming 10 times more fun. So always a special thanks to anybody who's participating in chat because it's just, it just makes it so much more dynamic and fun and interesting and yeah. So closing statements, uh, if you're watching this on Twitch, check out my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm not a YouTuber, I'm not gonna pretend to be, but I do use my YouTube as a stream archive. So if you ever want to check out my YouTube channel, the channel name is Existential Turtle, just like it's written below my face cam. Uh, I archive all of my past streams there, so if you ever can't watch one live, if you ever want to fast forward past boring bits, if you um, if you ever want to watch me play a different game, uh, then that background noise, like yeah, the, then check out my YouTube channel. And if you're watching this on YouTube, then check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Existential Turtle, uh, written in the bottom left of the screen. I stream every day, and the times do vary a little bit more this time of year. Um, a couple, like not too long ago, it was always like two to six p.m. with occasional exceptions here or there. But lately, it's been a lot of like two to fours or four to sixes because work has really been kicking my butt lately and making it harder for me to stream as much as I want to. So generally, somewhere in between two to six, I'll be streaming. Um, but I've been starting later because I've been getting home later or I've been having to go to bed earlier So I've had to end my stream early lately, but um, if you want specifics on channel updates follow me on Twitter at Easton Roscoe it's written in the bottom right of the screen and and um, I always post a channel update before I start streaming of when I'll be streaming and what I'll be streaming and My work will calm down eventually dragon, but probably not till after Christmas, so my streams are going to be not quite as long as I want them to be, probably for the through December. <laughs> Which sucks, I want to stream more. Uh, like, I liked doing four hours a day, that actually felt really good. Uh, and having to cut it down to like two hours a day has been a bit of a bummer. But I'm looking forward to when I can go back to my, my regular two to sixes. Uh, and I'll get there eventually, Dragon. It's just, I just got to get through the the holiday seasons for, for things to kind of slow down a little bit. And then, yeah, then we'll have time to actually watch stuff and maybe like play Halo or something. Like, but uh, once like my stuff slows down, then we got to figure out your schedule because you'll, you'll probably be back in school by then or something. I don't know. But anyway, well, that's all the conversation for another, uh, another time. I don't believe I have anybody online right now because I think the people that were streaming when I signed on have ended their streams. Let's go check real quick. Okay, good. Let's see. Yeah, I don't really have anybody streaming. Okay, so, yeah, no raid today. I, I haven't done a raid for the past, like, three streams. That's weird. Uh, yeah, but anyway, hope everybody has a good night and a pleasant tomorrow, and I will, will hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Peace. <laughs> Rip. <laughs>